All right, God bless you. God bless you real good. The scripture says, yeah, that's good. That's good. The Holy Ghost there brought something to me. But let's go here. God wants you to go to the book of Acts. I think I want chapter 20. Acts chapter 20, I believe that's what I want. Here it is here. <laughs> mm. oh, hallelujah. Acts chapter number 20. And I'm going to take you where the Holy Ghost just led me. Acts chapter 20 and verse Twenty seven. For well, I have not shown to declare unto you all the counsel of God. Pray God. Thank God I can say that. Take heed therefore unto yourself and to all. All the, not some of the flock, all the flock, over which the Holy Ghost have made you overseers. The Holy Ghost make overseers, honey. Don't no bishop make no overseer. The Holy Ghost make overseers. And I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show it to you. And feed what? Feed what? The church of God. It didn't say church is. It say the church of God. God ain't divided. Which 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 he had purchased with his own blood. Watch this. Here's your job. As overseer, here's your job. For I know this, that after my depart, my God, I can, I can, I can say that. After my depart, man, I have got up and preached the word of God and preached the whole council and had those to get up right behind me. To try to tear down what I said. Oh yeah. For I know this after my depart. Shall grieve wolves. Enter in among you. In among you. Grieve your wolves. Go enter in among you. Not sparing the flock. And ain't that the case today. Also of your own self. Even some of your own self. That talking in tongue. Say you feel the Holy Ghost. Say you holy. Even some of y'all. I live see that how God know. Shall men arrive, speaking for verse thing, to draw away disciples after them. Anytime a man or a woman draw somebody to follow them, those are false prophets. Those are grievous wolves. After them, not after Jesus, but after them, not after the word, but after them. Hallelujah. There for watch <laughs> and remember, my God, today that by the space of three years. 
I cease not to warn everyone you day and night with tears. I did that. I'm still doing it. I'm warning you. I'm still doing it. Praise God. Now, let me go to where the Holy Ghost led me. When I first came on, go to John the 20. John chapter 20. And look at verse 21. This is Jesus unto them again. Peace be unto you. And my father have sent me, evil so sent on you. Watch it. And when he said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, Receive me the Holy Ghost. Whosoever said ye remit, they are remitted. Whosoever said ye retain, they are retained. And that come through the gospel. Remember, repentance that remit of sin should be preached. You don't preach, you reject Jesus. Hey, no, we're not going to say you say. No, you ain't say. We ain't going to say that's it. No, it ain't. That ain't it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Watch it. Watch it. Here, where, here where the whole go, here the whole, the whole go took me. Break 15, John 21, 15. And when you had died, Jesus had to be the Sabbath. So Joseph, loving thou me more than thee, he said, Yeah, Lord, thou know that I love thee. He said, I'm there, feed my lamb. Feed my lambs. He said, Here we go, second time, Sabbath. So the Joseph, loving thou me, he says, Yeah, Lord, thou know that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. That's the overseer's job. To feed the lamb and feed the sheep. What is lamb and what is sheep? Hypocrites ain't lamb. Sinners ain't lambs. Sinners ain't sheep. I don't care if you get up, fall out, roll out. 17, he said the third time. Simon, son of John, love without me. And people agree because he said to him the third time, love without me. And he said to him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee, Jesus. Jesus said unto him, Feed my sheep. Then read the next verse. When he led those type death, that he going to die. He going to be killed. Read the next verse. Verse 18 and 19. At 20, 19, this spake he signified what depth he should glorify God. When he had spoken this, he said unto him, follow me. He told Peter, follow me. Now y'all tell the people to follow leadership. You hell bow. You on your way to the lake. And praise the Lord. And overseer that pastor, overseer, pastor, bishop, teacher, all of those terms is one in the same. I'm going to show you. Now we want to go to Timothy. I think we want four. Timothy four. Oh, we just, we just read that. No, that. <sighs> 
Timothy 5, I'm sorry. 1 Timothy 5, 17. Let me show you where your overseers at and your pastors and your bishops at. It ain't no that it ain't, it's not no that mess that's in our church. But it's among the people, among the sheep. First Timothy 5, 17. Let the elders that rule well. How you rule? Remember the bishop rule? Rule the house of God. How do they rule? It say let the elders that rule well. Be counted word of double honor. How do you rule? Especially they that labor word of God. Uh-huh. Watch it. For the scripture said, Thou shalt not burn out the tread out the corn, and the laborer is worthy of his reward. The overseer and bishop and pastors and even when it comes to evangelists and apostles also, it's the same message. Laboring word and doctrine. Let me show you something. I got I want you to go to Corinthians 12. Corinthians 12. Glory to God. And I'm doing my job. I'm te I'm feeding you right now. Don't get don't get the argument nobody about about who you will. You say God you say God uh uh made me a apostle property, valid pastor. Don't get no argument over over no don't you go back and forth with nobody. You just keep doing the way. Because they'll get upset because you not under them. <laughs> Because you're not with them as the disciples did when they saw a man doing the work of God and they told him to stop it. Jesus told his disciples, they did that are not against us, are for us. Don't forbid it. Well, you got to come under us. No, we don't. Corinthians 12, watch this. 28. And God said some in the first apostles, second the prophets, third the teachers. You don't see the word pastor, bishop, overseer. You don't see that name in verse 28, but it is named. Where is the name that? Teacher. Teacher. And that's the job and the duties of the overseer. Remember, especially they that lay me word in the doctrine. Holy bread. Remember that? That they that rule well. Watch it. Last one, I believe. I won't act chapter six. Begin read with verse number one. Then the twelve look look at number two in their perspective. Uh, the widow were being mistreated in the daily administrations, given out. But we have verse 2. Then the 12 called the but to the disciples unto them and said, It's not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. We can't stop what we're doing to do this. The word of God must go forth. Whoever, brethren, look out among you. What? Among you. Remember, remember, the elders that rule well. Remember, know them that labor among you. Look out ye among you. Seven men of honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, 
that we may appoint over this business and we will give ourselves continuous to prayer and to the minister of the word and the same please the whole month too and they told Stephen where Stephen come from? Where was he at? He wasn't sitting in the big tent. Where he come from? He was already there, already doing the work. A man full of faith and the and, and the Holy Ghost of uh, the Holy Ghost. Philip, where Philip come from? They were among the people. And the people knew who they were. The saint know who you are. Don't argue with nobody about who you are. You just keep doing the work. Procurus and Nicanor and Timon and Parmenus and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch, who they set before the party. When they prayed, they laid their hands on them. And the word of the Lord, uh, 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 and the word, of, uh, and the word of God increased, and the number of disciples multiplied. Disciples, disciples, disciples. What's a disciple? <laughs> disciple. A disciple is a follower and representative of Christ. And if you read on in the book of Acts, you had a woman disciple named Darkus. Disciples. What's a disciple? What did the disciples do? The disciples followed Jesus. The disciples preached Jesus. Jesus told his disciples to preach him. You better not tell a lie and say he did. The number of disciples multiplied in Jerusalem. Man, greatly. And a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. You even had priests got in a rightful place when they heard the gospel. And they obeyed. They ain't offered no more sacrifice. They ain't saying the law required. <laughs> Boy, it's all right. Eh? As Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. These were sitting in the big chair. These were among the people and the people knew who they were. The saints know who you are. The saints know the real. They know pastor ain't about nothing. He a crook. But they know you're not. <laughs> Praise God. All right. Let's leave that right there. Don't don't go arguing with nobody or go back and forth with nobody who you say. If you say God called you to preach or you evangelist or whatever, just do the way. Don't get no argument with nobody. You just do the work. Thank you for real.